Tom Hiddleston has finally spoken out about his relationship with Taylor Swift, and boy, is it boring. Uh, sure, <laughs> this is dull. So he spoke out to The Hollywood Reporter saying, We all live in a world where every phone has a camera. I've learned that there are many sides to a story, and that there are a lot of stories there which are false, and the hardest... <laughs> And the hardest thing is to not let those falsehoods affect your own life. And that's what I would say. Going very quickly into Michael Caine, uh, Taylor Swift and I are together. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Swift and I are together. Uh, and we're very happy. Thanks for asking. That's the truth. Is it's that, not a publicity stunt. That's that me has... falling asleep as I'm reading this. Oh. So long story, very short. He did comment on their relationship for the first time after all these photos that we've seen, after all the speculation, basically saying that, yes, they are together, that they're very happy, and then he just has to get used to living in the public eye because he is a public figure, all of which are true. But um, And I don't know what I expected him to say, but this was a little... Oh, just. How do you go home to such milk toast every night? Like how well, do you I, do? I I don't. I'm just saying. Like, uh, no, Lizzie's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Tom Hiddleston, on the other hand, apparently incredibly boring. Well, okay. Shocking news: Taylor Swift dates yet another very whitey white white guy who's really boring. <laughs> well, I guess the other ones weren't that boring. But okay, here here's what I'll say about this. Yes, this is boring. And as you know, consumers of pop culture, that lets us down because we really wanted there to be more of a story here. We watched it in the public eye. We saw the T-shirts, but not and everything. too much. Like you don't want it to be like an Amber Heard, Johnny Depp's uh, type situation. But you want him no, to have a little. No, you don't want abuse. Ed. Yeah, obviously, <laughs> but you wanted to have a little more edge. You want Hiddleston to be like. Yeah, whatever. Like we've been dating, and you know, I like to see other guys on the side or something like that. Like what? Weird. That like, would have been. Hardy. Yeah. yeah all of a sudden, he's he's bisexual uh, legend Tom Hardy. Right. Yes. <laughs> while we would, you know, while we as you know, pop culture news reporters would have loved to have reported that to you, I actually kind of think this is maybe good for Taylor Swift. From these comments, it sounds like he's not interested in any drama. He's really not interested in stirring the pot, and it sort of seems like a consequence that. He's been, you know, thrown into uh, such a such public discourse because he's dating Taylor Swift, but he doesn't really seem to thrive on it. And I think that's maybe good for her, especially because she's trying to have a more private profile yeah. after all the drama that's surrounding her. You know her why recently. Amir is shaking his head over there? Why? What is? Why he am I in trouble? It. He doesn't. No, no, no. That's exactly he what does, Calvin Harris was too. Yeah. And then this happened. He doesn't. He, I I don't think Amir believes. Like not to put words in his mouth, but okay. I don't think he believes that. Um, this is anything more than a relationship that was constructed by Taylor Swift to some degree, and uh, or at least that's the way I feel about it. I okay. think that this is yet another, uh, you know, publicity move. Like, oh, like I'm just trying to get away from the cameras. Like, you know, I'm just trying to have a normal life. But like, also look at how happy I am with and how much I love my new boyfriend. That where we ramped up our relationship zero to ten thousand in Real less quick. than a less than a weekend. Like, I don't know when that happened. But mm -hmm. uh, I, I just, I, knowing all that I know of people that have been around Taylor Swift. You um, know a lot about people who have been around Taylor yes, Swift. Yes, uh, and like, and, and, and yes. When did people this happen? That have, people that have Why like, do you never invite me anywhere? No, no, it's just like people that work in the background. Like I have friends that are dancers. I have friends that, um, you know what I mean? Who are these friends? Okay, anyway, but I'm anyway, not going to get on. too Sorry, much into on. it. As an investigative reporter, I don't, I can't reveal <laughs> you can't my reveal sources. They're anonymous. Okay. Um, but yeah, yeah, you're you're killing me right now. Okay, sorry. Um, so tell me what you know. So uh, Taylor is kind of a party animal. Likes to party a lot. Uh, likes to appear as you know that girl that's just like very, very nice and very careful about appearing mm -hmm. nice. But then when something goes south, like you see the real darkness in her for a brief moment where she's like. Oh my god, I can't find my microphone. Why is everything going wrong? But like normally she's always like, oh, you're so nice. Like, come to my house for a fourth of July party. Like, we'll have yeah. a we'll have a barbecue. Like, we'll take photos on Instagram. Like me and 15 of my supermodel uh, really good looking girlfriends. And no fatties though. Um, and then <laughs> like that's that's Taylor Swift. And therefore, knowing that I have her like knowing that I know about her, yeah. I feel like um, either A, this is a completely like fabricated relationship, or B, she's going to break up with him and it's gonna be very public, and then there's going to be a lot of songs that come from the aftermath, like 
you know, maybe I moved too quick. Maybe. maybe. Like, but. but listen, I think that Tom Hiddleston reminds me a lot of her relationship with Jake Gyllenhaal back in the day. And what they have in common to me is that they seem that, you know, they are in the public eye as a consequence of their job as being actors, but they don't really seem to seek out the attention. So I think that who, who knows what, you know, Taylor Swift's move will be here. Um, and we can only speculate. But uh, you know, I, I think that uh, Tom seems to be a really low-key guy, and, I, and I, I do hope that she finds happiness. I do, because I know that she's been through a lot recently, and she is a human. You, she's a person. Was that an accidental pun? Can we just, can we just? What did I up? say? What did I say? You said Tom seems to be a low-key guy. Oh God. Okay, on that note, guys, we want to hear what you think in the comment section below. My mom is in the background, does not understand that pun, very <laughs> confused. So if you guys could explain to her why Tom Hiddleston is a low-key kind of guy in the comment section below, I'll make sure she watches it. This is Tom Piker. I'm Grace Baldridge. We'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.